What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today's topic is going to be about taking risks. If you are a African person in the diaspora and you are living paycheck to paycheck, which is most of us, right? And we just, you know, life is beating us down and, you know, we're just trying to figure out how we're going to put, you know, food in, in the refrigerator and how we're going to fill a the gas tank up to make it to work and and we don't have really any you know extra money to, to do anything major we don't have that flexibility you know we may have a couple of dollars but we don't have anything major and then we don't have a lot of time and you know and it just seems like the process of living especially in America because in America we have a uh, we have a, uh, a system of perpetual bills that keep us locked down for pretty much our entire life. And in order to break that, if you go to Africa, they don't have a system of perpetual bills. You can actually relax and own property and do things and don't have to worry about every day these crushing, crushing bills coming through your mail, right? You either have it or you don't. That's just kind of how it is over there, right? So my idea is how does a person who is dealing with just trying to survive through life. How do we, how do they break through such a hard system? How do you get through the matrix? How do you come out the other end? How do you do it, right? You watch videos and you see other people doing it and you know, and it gets you motivated, but you're like, "Dang, I want to do it too." But look at these guys. They probably you're thinking, "Oh, these people on YouTube, you know, they have they got money. Obviously, they got great jobs where they can travel or they make so much money, you know, that they can afford to take these vacations. And, you know, maybe they're they get paid. Maybe they're making six figures at their job and they can take 30 days off and they can go on these vacations and do things like that. You know, they they have the opportunity because they 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 have, you know, things I don't have, you know, and that's what most people are thinking. Right. The average person. But let me tell you, that's not that's not really true. What, what you have to do, honestly, no, no. No, actually, some people do have it like that. Some people have the money with, and they have the time off. They may be doing some sort of IT work and they can do remote. They can work remotely or, or something like that, you know, or they may be well to do. They may parents may be taking care of them and they may be faking on the Internet like they're struggling. A lot of people do that, too. You know, you know, they pretend like they're one of the normal folks who just went over there and did it, you know, and they make you believe that. That that's the case, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes they are well to do and they do have the flexibility and means to do these things. You know, but what about the everyday average, you know, African American or Afro Caribbean or Afro Latino or Afro Arab or Afro European? You know, what about that person? What about what what can that person do? You know? What about the average, you know, African who's working hand to mouth, you know? who have all the motivation in the world, but they don't have the finances to make things happen. They have the intelligence. They have the know, they have the know-how. They have everything they need. They just don't have the money, right? So what do they do when they see also seeing other, they see African-Americans coming over to their countries doing all these things. They see other Africans from their countries leaving and coming back and doing all these things. Where, where, where do they fit in all this? You know, what's the point of them watching these videos and getting motivated when they have no ability to do it? Right. So that's what a lot of people think when they see a lot of these videos. And honestly, I'm going to say some years back, there was not many videos out there showing Africans or African-Americans doing anything like this. And just recently, you know, they just starting to pop up. And honestly, I purposely made my video to do that because I couldn't find anybody like myself. So I figured, let me go ahead and start doing video. Let me put myself out there. You know, and so other people can see what I'm doing. Now, of course, that comes with scrutiny and, you know, judgment and all that. But I don't care about none of that. I'm here for my, for, for my peoples. I'm doing it off the strength of my people because I want people who are like me to be able to do what I am doing, you know, um, when they have the opportunity so they can better their own selves. And that betters everybody in the black community. So this is. One of my ideas, I'm just throwing it out because this is Afro think tank. We think we, there's, a, there's a, a tank of thinking, thought. You know, we collect thoughts and we throw it out there and, and see what sticks, right? Okay, so if you are that person, that day-to-day -day person, you're going to have to take a risk, okay? Nothing's free. 
This stuff is not easy. Because if it was, we all be doing it, right? How many times have you heard that? If it was easy, everybody would be doing it, then it wouldn't have any value, right? You know, so if you want to do it now, because if you wait, I'm telling you right now, for you people who are listening to me, and you're like, I'm, you know who I'm talking to, if you wait too long, if you wait till it's super safe, if you wait until everything's laid out for you, it, it's going to be too late. You're about, honestly, to be honest, about five, five, about five, six, seven, about five, between five to 10 years, it's going to be over for a lot of regular African-Americans. It's going to be over because the ones that's taking action and risks are going to reap all the benefits, all of it. And you guys who, who delay, who make people who make excuses or kick the can down the road to say, oh, I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it later. You know, I'm, I'm going to visit Africa later. Let me go on this cruise first. Let me go to Italy first. Let me go to Greece first. Let me go here first. Uh, let me go to Vegas first. Those people, you know, who who keep pushing at your, the adventure to Africa out further and further and further, thinking that all those benefits are going to be there for you when you decide finally decide to pull the trigger and go, it's not going to be there. All right, so you're going to have to take risk. And the risk you're going to have to take, you're going to have to get to know somebody on the ground. You're going to have to make new relationships with a Nigerian or with a Ghanaian or with a Gambian, or with a Tanzanian or with a Ugandan. You're going to have to figure out what country you want to do business in, what it is that you want to do. Then you're going to have to actively search for a person in that country to make friends with. You're going to have to look for circles where like minded people are like the comment section in my videos in the comment section of Word of Maya's videos, in the comment section of Art Cathy's videos, in the comment, sec comment section of uh, uh, Dynasty Mir's videos. I mean, like that, in the comment section of Dr. Mumbai's videos. Go into the comment section. These are where you're going to find the like-minded people who really want to go make moves. Now, everybody can't be trusted, and we know that. Just like any relationship, you're going to have to do your vetting. You're going to have to vet these people. You're also going to have to find some people, some other people around you who's also motivated. Because if you don't have the money individually, you could have the money collectively. If you don't have a thousand dollars to buy land, but I'm sure you can put together two hundred fifty dollars. And I'm sure if you find somebody who, el who also have two hundred fifty dollars, you two can probably find two other people to have two hundred fifty dollars. That's a thousand dollars. You can go in it together. You can you can. Share your dream with somebody else. Yes, it's a risk because you don't know people's personalities or motivations. But that means you have to take the time to, to get to know them. Become friends with them. Become friends with, start talking to people on, on, um, on Facebook who are, who are from the countries that you, uh, that you want to you work with. And just start, just really start talking to them. You know, start video chatting. You know, start going through all the steps of verification of a person, place. And, and all that. And yes, some of you guys are going to be scammed. Some of you guys are going to be disappointed. Some of you guys is going to fail. You know, it's nothing perfect, but some of you guys are going to make it. And that's and that's what uh, that's what's going to happen. That's the only way to do it. You're going to have to use the power of people. You got to crowdfund your dream, crowdfund your dream, find other people with the same dream. They're out there. You know, they're out there. Just look at the subscriptions. Of these people out here. Like myself and others who's taking a risk, because taking a risk, putting ourselves out there like that, you know, to, to give you guys this information. And I'm not telling you something that I, have, I, I didn't do. I'm not just making this up as in, oh, it's a great idea, but I'm not going to do it. That's exactly what I did. I'm going to tell you what I did. I went on Facebook and I friended a bunch of Nigerians and I started to talk to a bunch of Nigerians, a bunch of them. And I got on a bunch of Nigerians here. That are my friends. I talked to a bunch of them. I asked them plenty of questions. I Googled the location I wanted to start my business or that I wanted to buy land. I researched it like it was a research paper, like I was in school. I mean, one of the best things school did was teach us how to study. If you ever learned how to do that, how to study and find out information. You know, it doesn't take you can become your own expert in anything you do. You just have to study. Right. So find a place you want to go. Study about it. Watch all the videos you can. Google it. Um, go on Priceline.com and start looking at tickets as if you was going to go. 
you don't have to purchase the ticket. Just just see how much it costs. You'll be surprised at how cheap an African a flight to Africa is. You'll be surprised. Start looking at hotels you're familiar with because all the major hotels that you're used to are in all these countries. And they're five-star hotels. If you want to stay at a, a bougie five-star hotel, you can stay at a bougie five-star hotel. If you want to stay at a two-star, three-star, you can also, if you're okay with, with staying at a lesser hotel, you can also stay at a hotel that's really, really cheap, that may not may or may not have um, you know, hot water. You, know, you may or may not have air conditioning, but if you rug it, then you can make it happen. You can stay in a hotel for like two, three, so like $20 a night. I mean, you can make your trip to Africa very cheap. It all depends on what you're willing to take and what you're not willing to take. You're going to have to be flexible. If you don't have the money, then you're going to have to endure certain things, but you can make it happen. So what I did, I found someone. I vetted a whole bunch of people. I found people who wanted to scam me. I found people who, who saw opportunity, and then I picked a person. Then I got to know that person over a year. I literally got to know that person over a year. Then, I, then what I did was I verified all the information that I was getting from my partner with other Nigerians that are here without telling that person. You tell me what city you from, you tell me, you know, okay, I'll write it down. You tell me what you do, what school you go to, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'll write it down. What bank you have, I'll write it down. And then I'll take that to my Nigerian friends that I work with or that I know. And I say, hey, this person said this, that, this, that, and this. Boom, let them verify it. Then I go to another Nigerian, let them verify it. Oh, this is true. Okay. So I can come up with, I can deduce that this person is somewhat tr trustworthy at this point, right? And then you keep doing small things, small things to have that person gain your trust. You know, what information are they willing to give you? Are y'all video chatting? You know, and once you're establishing a relationship and you're ready to make the next move, then it's time to make, and then it's time to, to make the next, to take the next risks. That person has to meet you at the airport. That's what I did. People thought I was crazy. They was like, man, you going to the airport to meet this person? I'm like, yes, I am. They thought they just knew that when I got there that that person wasn't going to be there. Or they knew I was going to get scammed. But I, I knew I had to take the risk if I want to make this thing happen. And I felt like I did enough studying and due diligence to, that I, that person was cleared through me. And lo and behold, I did my due diligence. I did everything I was supposed to do. I studied the place. And then when I got there, guess what? My business partner was at the airport. And everything after that has been pretty much gravy. Okay? It's been pretty much gravy. It's worked out. There are people in Nigeria and every and other, and I'm just saying Nigeria because that's the place I picked because that's where my ancestry comes from. So that's why I'm there because my point is I'm bringing my ancestors back. My ancestors didn't ask to leave. They were, they were, they were taken. And guess what? We're back. And I'm establishing myself. Okay? So, so... I'm telling you this idea I'm giving you is what I've already done and I'm telling you it worked. You can see that it worked through my video. You also can do the same thing. So you and a buddy of yours, you find somebody who's for real, not people who just talk and yep, 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 yep. They want to want to do this. They want to want to do that, but they never do anything. You need someone who really takes action, a hustler, okay, who can get a passport and can fly. That's important. They got to be able to get a passport and fly and they have to be willing to spend the money to make certain things happen because it really does cost money to make money. That is the truth. You will spend a lot of time spending money without receiving money. You will spend a lot of time in the negative and it takes time and you have to have patience and understanding and you got to see your goal and you got to keep going. You can't stop. You have to make it your life's mission and that is the only way you're going to make it happen. You have to follow through and you have to think slowly methodically about every move that you make but the thing is you have to make the move you cannot be stagnant because if you do it'll never happen because there are plenty of plenty of africans over there with the talent the know-how the skills but they don't have the finances and you may think that you don't have any money especially you americans if you african american you may think that you don't have no money over here but understand you have money over there you may be poor over here, but you middle class over there. You may be middle class over here, but you're rich over there. So you have to take that also in consideration. Look at the currency. Look at the, the currency difference between the Naira and the, and the U.S. dollar. Look at the cur currency difference between the different currencies in different countries versus the American dollar. Understand each part of, of what it takes to make things happen. Understand the economics. 
Understand the, the area, the safety, the geography, the history of the area. Understand why things are the way they are. Find out what tribes are what tribes, who, um, what, you know, Google, Google um, relationships. And just Google is your best friend. I'm trying to tell you. Google, YouTube would, would do it all. All right. Your phone is all you need to make these decisions. OK, so I encourage you guys, the ones that really want to do it, but don't have no money. Find some find other people who really want to do it, but ain't got no money. Then start make, making little clubs, make little groups, make little groups on YouTube or WhatsApp. And, and, and start vetting some of these people you want to do business with. I'm telling you, make your own groups, crowdfund your own dreams, find Africans who will, who's willing and able to work with you. And the first thing you do, you go on a vacation and meet these people. Just like a date, y'all. You know, a lot of y'all, you, you, you know, people, they go out here and they look for dates. You know, you have the, you know, you're not scared to do that. Well, some people are. But, you know, you, you, you find people. You know, you go out to bars, you go to clubs, you get to know people, you go to events. Well, here's an event. Make your own. You could do it. I'm telling you. So that's all I, all I wanted to say is take some risks. And understand that you will take loss. Accept it and be okay with it. And then go ahead. Because it's, it's like a game, man. It's like it's like playing. Um, it's like playing, playing. What's that game everybody's playing? Uh, that farm. What's that? Animal Crossing. Imagine how much time people spend on Animal Crossing, right? And they're gathering all their friends and they're texting people. Hey, join my, join my, uh, you know, my farm and do this. And they create whole complete and total organizations where they're all working together. For uh, for the betterment of their communities on a game. Look at these other games that people play. If they get together, look at people top um, was it these Xbox and these PlayStation games where they create squads and 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 they go in there and they play against other people and they compete in it and they're and they're fighting for rewards and, and gratification. And they do this on a scheduled basis. They meet people online. You meet people who you've never met before playing a game and then all of a sudden they're in your squad and and you know them for years and sometimes you meet them. You can do the same thing here. It's a game. You have to play it. If you don't play it, you always you're always going to be a spectator. Okay? And if you if you're tired of being a spectator, if you if you watch these videos of these African Americans and all these Afro UK people, if you watch these videos and you just it just gets you excited and make you, and you want to do it and you just like, "Why can't I have my turn? When is when when is something going to happen where I'm able to do this?" Then this video is for you. All right, because you need to hear this. You need to know that the only person that you're waiting for is yourself is to take that action. Okay, so people don't be scared, become warriors and take risk and make your dreams happen. Okay, so all I got to say, learn something and teach one, teach something. This is Afro Think Tank. I'm out.